Hi there, Nikki here. Um, yay, new choreography is being posted. A um, couple things, I got a list here of things so I don't forget to say in my little uh, intro. Firstly, I'm pregnant. I'm seven months pregnant. Um, and even Silver Sneakers is starting to get extremely challenging for me. So this will probably be my last video um, for a little bit. Um, I plan to teach an, some old stuff. Um, through the end of June, and then I'll be on maternity leave for a couple months. So expect new stuff in the fall sometime, but probably nothing earlier than that. So bear with me while I have baby and all of that. Um, also, um, just keep in mind that I don't have any rights to the music. Um, everything is completely free. I started doing videos basically for my own personal use. If you can get something out of it, Great. If you just get a move or want to use a track or two, also great. If you don't like my stuff, that's okay too. Anyways, uh, if you like my stuff, I do put a Spotify playlist and a Google Doc with all of my choreography notes in my comment section on YouTube. Now, I always write my choreography and teach it for a little bit before I make these videos. So sometimes the choreography morphs a little bit from my choreography notes. So just keep that in mind if you see anything that's a little different in the video than in my notes. Um, also, when I do videos, I don't show any of my chair movements, but I always have beginner, intermediate, and advanced moves. I always know exactly what to do when I'm sitting down in a chair, um, but I'm going to show you the most advanced moves in my video. If you have questions about chair movements and what you should be doing at certain times, if you have a member that sits down, please let me know. Again, the most important thing that someone can do is just keep moving, right? They don't have to do exactly the same thing as you. Just keep them moving. That's the most important thing and keep them safe. Um, la I do have some overhead tricep extensions in this one. I'll repeat it in a little bit, uh, but make sure that people that have high blood pressure and heart conditions do not reach overhead Make sure to give them options and to let them know why they are getting their options. Um, my second ball track is actually not written and choreographed by me. It was written and chore choreographed by Yoshiko Portis. I did change her moves out a little bit, but I used her song and I took her stuff. So I wanted to give her credit. Um, let's see. Oh, and then lastly, before we get started, um, I just wanted to say... Um, I like to teach stuff for a couple uh, a couple months. Usually, I'll pull two tracks in from an old release. Like I'll I'll start with my um, my warm up, and then next week I'll bring in new resistance band, and then the week after I'll bring in new dumbbell, and so on and so forth. But I like to give my members a month and a half to two months of working on something because a big thing that I I like is. Uh, training the brain. So sometimes I do have complex patterns um, and the first couple weeks you'll go over with them, like uh, take some time to practice some of the moves with them before you do the class. I will tell you right now that in this specific set of choreography, my very first track has two moves and it will take your members about three weeks to learn it and some of them will ask you about it after class. The most important thing is to encourage them that if something is challenging, it gives them an opportunity to train the brain, learning patterns and learning something new and using muscle memory. Um, if something is too advanced, be prepared to take things down a notch or simplify it. Tell them that as you teach. So set your class up. I leave minute long breaks between each section so you have one minute without having to touch your iPod to explain the next section. However, hit pause on your iPod the first, or the first, second, third, fourth, fifth time you teach a class something until you know they don't need that anymore. Um, and then just keep the minute to explain things to the one or two people that only come every now and then. Um, anyway, sorry for the long intro, but hopefully you got something out of that. Um, yeah, so let's just get started. Two warm-up tracks, minute break, uh, two resistance band, minute break, dumbbells, uh, ball, and then I do a final cool down and stretch. All right, so it's all about 45 minutes. Um, I'll try to teach it the way that I teach it in my classes, um, again, without doing the chair moves. If you have questions about chair moves, ask me. I'll let you know. Just shoot me an email or whatever. Um, all right, well, let's go. Whew. 
Pregnant belly. Okay. Um, anyway, we'll do the best that we can here. Let's start with our warm up. So, hi everyone, my name is Nikki. Welcome out to Silver Sneakers Classic. We're going to start off with two cardio warm up tracks. Now, this first track can be a little tricky. However, there's only two moves, okay? There's two moves. There's the V step and there's the Charleston. The tricky part is when we combine the two together. Now, we're gonna work on training the brain and getting the heart rate up in this first track, but if something is too confusing for you in the steps, you have two options. So first move is the V step and we reverse it. So you make the shape of a letter V. So it's open, open, narrow, narrow. Forward, forward, back, back. Right, left, right, left, left, right, left, right. Okay, that's move number one. The Charleston, forward, forward, backward, back. Forward, forward, backward, back. I will tell you which foot to lead with. So if I say right, we go right, V step. If I say left, Charleston, we lead with the left. So those are your moves. It might take you a couple weeks to get some of this down because we're gonna put both of them together. So if something is too advanced for you, just do the V step, all right? Or just move your feet because as long as you're moving your feet, you're doing the right thing, all right? The first track is gonna be the, the hardest one in regards to training the brain, all right? So have fun with it, that's the most important thing. Let's get started, 45 minutes of fun work, and here we go. <laughs> Start with the march. And then we're going to go B step, right and left. It's right and left. So open, open. Now move into the Charleston, right foot first. It's forward, forward, back, back. Now, next thing, we're going to rotate the Charleston to the right and to the left. Here we go. It's forward, forward, back, pivot. So making sure we're moving the shoulders. Right, so it's the same move that we were just doing. We just pivot it and rotate it, right? All right, we're gonna go back to the B step. Leave right foot, it's forward, forward, back, back. Now left foot, and open the hips. A lot of lateral movement today. And I want you to really move the shoulders to get the upper body involved, yeah? Now here's what we're gonna do. Right B step, left Charleston, right B step. Left Charleston, now left B step. And right Charleston. Now, if this is hard for you, just do the V step only. But let me tell you something. It might be hard now, but with lots of work, you're gonna get it within a week or two. I promise. You gotta believe in yourself and train the brain. Now stick with the Charleston. Here we go, and move your torso back and forth. Little stretch in the core and back. Let's do it again. Round number two, rotate right and left. Right and left. So work it and rotate it. Yeah, so we got it down. We know what we're doing now. Now let's take it back to B step. Please right foot. Here we go. It's right, left, and left, right. And open hips and move those shoulders. You can get your jazz hands out too if you want. Now you can stay right here if you want or join me for combo. Right B step. And left Charleston. Now left B step. And right Charleston. Now right. And left. And left. And right. One more time. Right. You got it. Just keep practicing it. Now right here, let's stop and stretch. Bring your right arm over. Side bend. And left arm. Now bring your right arm across for a shoulder stretch. Ah, take a deep breath. We're feeling warm, we're ready to go. Let's go back to the V step. Here we go, it's right and left. If you want it, here it comes. Combo, one more time, right V step, right. Left Charleston. And left and right. When you get it, you're gonna own it. You're gonna love it. Train the brain. Stick with the Charleston, last round, here we go. And move your torso back and forth. You guys ready to rotate it? All right, here we go, one more time. Rotate right, left. Pivot, right here. Forward, forward, back, pivot. Forward, forward, back, pivot. Yep, yeah. Now this time, we're gonna go right into the combo. 
combo. Right knee step, left Charleston. And right. And left. And left. And right. And right. Finish it up nice and strong. Yep, you got one more each way. Here we go. And right. Left. And last one. And just stop right here. Let's clap it out. Woo! Catch your breath. Combo number one done. Let's turn that music up just a little bit. Yeah. All right. Let's start with an upper back stretch. Palms up. Open up. Now some of the moves in this one are a little fast. Go your own pace. There's no rules. Drop your hands. Let's start right, left, side step. Here we go. Right, left. Yep. Open up those hips. You can add a little bounce in the step if you'd like to add some fly out. Now work the upper body as you like it. Two step, one step, one step to the right. And one, two. It's two. And one, one, two. Now here's the thing. Whatever you want to do with the upper body, it's up to you. So if you want to roll the shoulders, you want to clap, you want to snap, it's up to you. Just do something, right? All right, let's change it up. Left, right, hand curl. Here we go. It's left, right. Now notice I have a bounce in my step, but if you want to take out the cardio, just step, right? On rock and roll, low to high jazz hands. Make it cheesy. Here we go. It's rock. Get side tap, left, right, left, right, left, right. So keep your hips forward, bend forward with a straight back, and pull through to the opposite knee. All right, rock and roll, jazz hands, rock and roll. Yeah, side step. Yep, get those hands. Find that 80s rocker. Two step, one step, one, two, and one, one, two. And one, again, notice I have a bounce, but if you want to take the cardio down, step, right? This is how we make it easier, right? This can all be done in the chair as well. Just move your feet. Yeah, one more. All right, you guys ready for that hand curl? Left, right, and here we go. It's left, right. Kick yourself in the back. Squeeze your elbows in. Pinch in between the shoulder blades. We built this city. Can we make it cheesier? Here we go. Rock and roll. Side tap. Left, right, left, right. So reach, stretch to the shoulder. Yes. Nice on side tap. Open up those hips. Here we go. Rock and slow, slow. Spread the legs a little wider. Lateral lunge to the right. Right. And center to the left. We're stretching the inner thigh, our groin muscle. Yes. One more. All right. Two step, one step, one step. March. Here we go. One more. Two. And one, one, two. Are you having fun yet? Is the heart rate up? Oh, I think that blood is pumping. The oxygen is flowing. We got four more. Two. And one, one. Yeah, yeah we got it. All right, we're gonna stretch a little bit more. Stop right here, bring your right foot forward. Four hip flexor, left knee down, pull your bum forward. Stand up, tilt forward for hamstring, keep your back straight, try not to arch it. Pop the toe for calf. And stand up, switch, drop. Butt forward, chest up. Hip flexor in the quad. Stand up, tilt forward, don't arch that back. Pop the toe without grabbing it. Last little bit of cardio. Left, right hand curl. Stand up. Here we go. It's left, right. Yeah, get it. Add that little bounce. Plyo is going to give you a little cardio kick. Here we go. Rock, bend, side tap, fast. Last little bit. Reach, reach. We got it. One more time to be cheesy with me. Here we go. And rock and roll slow. 
So let's do some squats. Two, two count. Down. Two. And squeeze your butt to the top. Sink into the heels. You don't have to go that low. It's up to you how low you want to go. Chest up. Raise the core as you hit the bottom. Make sure you're not tipping forward into the toes. And just warm up those quads a little more. Two more. The last one for luck. All right, let's clap it out. Woo, catch your breath, grab some water, grab a towel, make sure our legs are some sharp, you're somewhere between a one and a 10, probably between a six and an eight. Please use your legs to bend and not your back if you need to get your resistance band. Grab your band, I'm gonna go over the first track. All right, so I grabbed a pink band today so you can see it better in my video. All right, so tell your members this first one, they need a lighter band, all right? It's gonna have some advanced moves in it. This is gonna be the easiest option to hold the band like this in the first track. A more advanced move is here, all right? Let your members choose what's best for them. Now, please set up this second move properly. We're gonna put one band underneath one foot. You grab both handles. We're gonna make this movement to do a reverse wood chop. The torso twists, knee to knee. And then pull up, down to the knee, pull up and down, up, knee. Now this is a very advanced move. So if you need to, drop a handle, then pull. All right, that's gonna be the option. If it's still hard, make your foot placement in a different place to give you more slack. All right, let's start it out. Step in that band, cross it if you want. Walk four times to the right. Here we go, four, three. Now, right knee up and out, it's up, out, now to the left, it's four, three, two, one, and up, out, back to the right. Here we go, it's four, three, two, right knee up, yeah. Now to the left, just the steps this time, then put the band underneath your right foot, set up that second move, here we go. It's up, down, up, and knee, up. Down. Now, if you need an option, drop that band. All right, that'll make it easier. And we want to pull through the core, working the oblique and abdominal muscles all the way through the shoulder. How about two more? And if you drop the band, use your legs to pick it up. Last one. Step back in that band. Here we go. Walk it out. To the right. It's four, three, two. Right knee up and out. Now, if it's hard to bring that leg out like that, just lift the knee and drop it, right? Like this. It's up, down, up, again, and four. The wider you get those legs, the better we were bending or not thigh. All right, one more, just the steps. This time, band underneath the left foot. All right, here we go. And up, down, up, and knee. Pull. Yeah, and twist. A nice strong core is a happy core. You only have three more of these guys. Pull. It falls in love with you. How about one more? One more, and then step back into the band. All right, here we go. Let's walk it out to the right. Four, three, two. Right knee up, out. And in, and four, three. Keep a strong core, nice and balanced. And start to really feel the burn from the resistance. All about strength. Yeah, one more. Do the knee this time. We're gonna tilt forward, keep a strong core. Bring the right toe back. All right, butt and lower back. Four, three, two. Now squeeze your glutes at that back. All right, now other leg, right here. Squeeze. If you want a more advanced move, bring the foot completely up, like this. Four, three, work on balance, and shaping that booty. One more, one more. Four, three, can we walk it out one more time? I think we can. Let's walk it to the right, and four, three, two, right knee up and out, up. Woo! Hello glutes right there. Four, three, two, one. You got two to finish. 
The most challenging ones are right here. Right knee, yep. Out. Last one, right here. Four, three, two. All right, keep that band underneath those feet. All right. Put a more slack on the right side. Single shoulder press, up and down. Now we're gonna work the right side only, but if you need an option because your right shoulder gets tired at any time, I want you to switch to the left arm, all right? Or you can always switch to an upright row. Those are your options. All right, stop here, bicep curl, up and down. So squeeze your elbows in, and think about the resistance on the way down. So nice and controlled. The chest is up, and the knee is bent. Give me two more. Keep your right arm up. Back to the shoulder press. Here we go. In and up. Always reaching a little bit in front of the body, not directly overhead. And you can rest the shoulder right on the chest. Or if you want more advanced, keep it up. You can keep it up at shoulder height. All right, one more. Now band goes underneath the right foot. Front raise, side raise combo. It's front and side. No higher than the shoulder. If you need an option, do one arm at a time, or just go halfway, right? Just halfway, that's okay, one more. Yep, step back in the band, let's bring that right arm back up, shoulder press, and here we go. Reach, and up, and reach for the sky, reach. Now why do we work the right side only? We work on muscle endurance and strength. We get that muscle feeling real nice and tired to give that joint a little extra love. One more. Tricep kickback. Here we go. Back. So, knees bent. Chest bends forward, but we keep the back in alignment. Squeeze the elbows in and pick the forearms backward until you feel the back of the arm squeeze. Two more. Right arm back up one more time. Nine presses to finish. Nine. Eight. The hardest ones right here. Seven. If you need an option, change arms. Yes. Five. Four, three, two, now rest that shoulder, woo, switch more slack on the left side, let's do it again, here we go, and up, so again, here's your options, switch arms as you need, or work the left side the whole time, or you can stop the shoulder, or sorry, the elbow at shoulder height, or rest it on the torso. Always reach in front of the body. Last one. Set up biceps. Bend your knees. Here we go. Whoop. Then down. You need an option. One arm at a time. Right? One arm at a time. Or just go halfway. That's an option too. All right. Couple more. Two more times. Left arm stays up. Here we go. Get rid of. When you get the blues. We don't have the blues, not in silver sneakers. This is our fun time, right? Couple more. How about two more? Front raise, side raise. Band underneath the left foot. And here we go. Up. And out. Working those shoulders. That's what it's all about. Got to make sure we give a lot of love to all of our joints. Right? How about one more? Then we finish it up. All right. Step in and left arm up. Here we go. Whoop. One more time. Get rhythm and reach for the sky. Four, three. Get ready for tricep kickback. One more time. I'll show you from the side to the side. Bend forward and kick it back. Back and in. So notice when I bring my arms in. They come to a 90 degree bend. I squeeze the elbows in, and I try to kick my forearms back to get that isolation and squeeze right into that back of the arm. One more, left arm up, finish it up for 10. Nine, eight, seven, six, woo, five, four, three, Two, and we did it. All right. Your shoulders are probably really tired. Please bend with your legs and not your back. Grab some water. Make sure you're somewhere on, between a one and a 10 on the exertion chart. If you're ever too tired or need to sit down, please take a seat. Take a shoulder across the body and stretch up through that last track. 
your shoulders are going to be a little tingly right now. So both sides. Next is our dumbbell. So grab a dumbbell. Place one of them on your chair. We won't need it until the second track. And the first track can all be explained as we go. It's going to be core work and a little bit of strength and a titch of cardio. The second track, we're going to take it down and just work the back and the legs. Now, we're doing the love shack. And I need all of you to participate with me. When he yells, you're what? We're all going to yell, ten roof, like the roof is made of ten, rusted. Because it's a love shack and it's old. Ten roof rusted. The louder that we are, the better. We want everyone on the opposite side of the gym to hear us. Because that's how much fun we're having. We want them to come into our class. Ten roof rusted. It'll be in round number four. All right, let's bring the, the arms up. We're going to start with a squat. Rest your elbows on your chest. Here we go. It's down, up, down. Now, if you want more shoulder work, you can always bring the elbows up. That's the option. Now, knee crunch, right, left. Here we go. It's right and left. So we're picking up the knee, and then we're going to bend forward, keeping the knees bent, trying to bring the forehead to the knee to crunch the upper abs. Now, obliques, twist right and left, right and left. So opposite elbow to opposite knee. Working that waistline, all right? And we're gonna try to turn the body fully perpendicular to front facing. Back to squats. Here we go, down. Yeah, squeeze that butt at the top. Now reach right center, left center. Here we go, right center, left. And reach. If your shoulders are still tired, keep the dumbbell at the chest. Release the heel and just twist. Round two, knee crunch. Right, left, right. So what else are we working on besides core? Balance, that's right. Balance and coordination. So you bring that heel up as high as you can. It's up to you. Twist right, left, right, left. Aye. Work the waistline. Gotta love that core work. All right, back to legs. Squat. If you're seated, you can crunch. Yep. All right, let's reach. Right center, left center, right center, reach. Can you touch the wall on the side of the room? I want you to put that dumbbell on the shelf. Put it there. Round number three, knee crunch, right, left. Get those elbows up if you can. Pull down, forehead to knee. Feel that upper abdominal region working. Round and around, let's twist to the right. Right. Everybody's grooving, baby. We got it. All right, you guys ready? Let's go back to legs. Let's go squats. Here we go. Down. We have one more round. Round number four. Knee crunch, right, left. Make it count. Big as a whale and it's about to set sail. Yep. All right, we're gonna go right into the squats this time. All right, here we go. And down. Our moment, our big yelling moment to let it all out is coming up. Reach right center, left center. Remember, it's going to be 10 roof, rusted. Get ready, because it's our time. But first, let's add to this move. Reach right center, then squat. Here we go. Now squat. Left center and squat. Left. What does she say? She says, bang, bang, bang. Hey, reach. Have a little fun. Now all that aggression, all that energy, we're gonna let it out. I want the people on the treadmill over, over there to hear ya. Ten roof rusted. We got one more. Then pause. Here it is, y'all. What did she say? Yo, what? Ten roof rusted. Squat for me. That was really good, you guys. I think that was louder than yesterday. I'm loving it. Four to finish. Four, three, two, and one. 
Woo! Catch your breath, grab some water, towel up if you need, you can sit. Just remember the next song, no cardio. Back and leg strength. Feet are underneath the hips. We're gonna do some single dead rows. Roll your shoulders back, chest up. Single dead row, nice and slow. And here we go. It's knees, belly, knees, and rise. Lower back, glutes is where it's at. So as you tip at the hip, the head follows, and the neck and back are in line. We want to twist the hands or the arms so the palms face to the sky, and we squeeze the elbows in until we get a pinch in the shoulder blades. Now notice, I'm not lifting my head. I'll show you what not to do. This, this is wrong, right? Keep the head down and look up with your eyes. Now let's go to a deadlift or a good morning. So tip, L shape, less bend in the knees, graze the thighs and stop at the knees. Sink into the heels, all right? And then squeeze the butt to the top, right? See from the side, it's just a tip, driving the hips back. One more, and then slow step back lunge, right and left. If you don't like the lunge, you can squat. Back, down, up, other side. You don't have to go that low. If you're seated, you can crunch. Back to single row. Knees, squeeze, knees, and rise. Again from the side. Notice, more bend in the knee. My neck and back are in line. I want to hold that little pause for a millisecond, right? As you feel that pinch in the shoulder blades. Middle into lower back, right? And every time you stand up, squeeze the butt. And when we rotate the arm, what else do we work? We work the bicep, yes. One more, now watch the difference in my knees when I do a deadlift or a good morning. Less bend in the knee, more tip in the hip. Squeeze the glutes, yes. Hamstring glutes and lower back, woo -hoo. Yes, one more. All right, get ready, we're gonna go. Step back lunge, or you can squat or crunch. Here we go, back. Down, chest up, try not to tilt forward. A long stride, and as low as you're comfortable. You don't have to go that low. If you're right here and you just do a little lunge, that's fine. If you step back and you do a big lunge, well, that's fine too. There's no rules, all right? Now, if you're feeling like you want a little bit more, how about you bring those dumbbells up and press when you lunge. A little in front of the body. Yep, again, back. Up, two more, Woo. reach, last one, we're going to go back to the deadlift, last round, here we go, boom, squeeze, here's my favorite line, I don't know why it is, what does she say, what does Prince say, he says, act your age, not your shoe size, yes, again, and knees, Squeeze, little pause, right there, couple more, yep, last one, now we finish it up with a deadlift, you got four more, here we go, down, two, what I say, squeeze that butt, down, you got two to finish, all right, all right, what's your All right, guys, good job. Go ahead and put your dumbbells away. Grab some water, towel off. Notice I'm bending with my legs and not my back. If you're seated in the chair, you can always grab your leg and reach over this way, all right? Next is our ball. And, let's see, I just bent with my back. Don't do that. All right, so grab your ball. The next track is higher cardio, okay? It's gonna be our last high cardio track. The second song is gonna be uh, back and core stabilization, a little bit of balance. Um, and uh, yeah, and a lot of fun. All right, so this first track, I want you to know we're gonna do a tricep overhead extension, a calf raise into a tricep overhead extension. Now, if you have a heart condition where you take high blood pressure medication, I definitely do not want you to reach overhead. Please bring the ball to the chest and do a forward reach. So you can do the calf raise into the forward reach if you have high blood pressure. All right, otherwise, notice tricep overhead extension from the side. Looks like this, all right? So, yeah, we're good? Let's do it. Second track, we'll sit in the chair and then we'll finish it up. So, first.
First time, we're gonna do two shovels to the right with a big shoulder roll like this, and then two shovels to the left. Here we go. And hit it, it's right and left. Now, I'm talking about the bounce earlier today. If you don't wanna do the bounce, just step. All right, and roll the shoulders. All right, now, reach right, left with a little bit of a lunge. It's right and left. So take a step and try to put that ball on the shelf. If you need an option, do like we did in the love shack and just reach right center, left center. Now high knee, ball in right hand, open. Now left arm high, high, and open. The higher the knee, the better the cardio. Squeeze between the shoulder blades, reach high, keeping the ball in front of the body. Stay in the left arm, open wide. Now right arm high, high, and open, high. All right, we're gonna do it again. Shuffle twice to the right, twice to the left. Here we go. Right and left. Shoulders, legs, cardio two. Yep. Yeah. Yes. And lunge, right and left. Turn completely perpendicular. Take a little step. Put that ball on the shelf. We're gonna go calf raise, tricep, overhead extension. Here we go. Up, up. Notice my elbows are next to my ears. The ball comes to the base of the neck. If you have heart conditions, it's here, right? Yes. High knee, open wide with right arm, left high, high. Coordination, try not to look at the ball. Look forward, get those knees high. Open. Now, ball stays in the left. Open wide. Right high. High. Open. High. One more round. Two shuffles right. Two shuffles left. Last time. Here we go. Right. And left. And right. Can you make those steps a little bigger? Can we travel? Yes. Now, right, left, lunge. It's right and left. Right, left. We're gonna finish with our overhead extension and our cat raise. Here we go. Up, up. Elongate those legs. Squeeze those elbows in. Four more. Four, three, two, one. Woo, catch your breath. Everyone celebrate with me. We got one more. All right, we're gonna do the cha-cha. Keep your back straight. We're gonna lean forward, cha-cha-cha. Lean forward, cha-cha-cha, all right? Keep it a strong core. Try not to lean back in the chair. Right arm first. Here we go. Right, cha-cha-cha. Left, cha-cha-cha. Again, straight back. Use the core and the back stabilizer. Drive the hips back. One more, and then put the ball right underneath your knees. knees. Cat raise, two, two count. It's up, two, and down. If you need an option, lift one leg at a time and alternate. You can use the bottom of the chair to hold on for balance, but keep a strong core. All right. Grab the ball to your right arm. Put your seatbelt on. It's up, shoulder, hip, switch. Up, shoulder, hip. Now I want you to sit up nice and tall. Make a diagonal across the body. Reach to the sky a little bit in front of the body and try to elongate the torso and feel that stretch. Cha-cha, right arm. Here we go, right. Cha-cha-cha. Can you bring your knees up a little higher to work those hip flexors and stand for feet and make some noise. Make it loud. Stop here. Cap raise. Here we go. Whoop. Two, try not to lock your knees at the top. And go slow and squeeze your butt right at the top of the movement. Up. One more, and then we're gonna put on the seatbelt again. All right, right arm. Here we go. It's up, shoulder, hip, and switch. Up, shoulder, hip. Touch the ball on those points, and try not to look at the ball. All right, coordination. Yep, we're gonna go back to the cha-cha. Two more. Right arm, step tall, and bend at the hip. Right, stand your feet, and make some noise. Use your core. 
four. Now we have four more, and then we're going to tap right left to the feet, to the side, and open up the chest, ball right, then ball left. Here we go. It's right, left, squeeze between the shoulder blades, open, tap, tap, two more, back to the cha-cha. Here we go, right, cha-cha-cha, left, cha-cha-cha. Now one more, then stop here. 
Here's our cat cow. Bring your feet in. All right, set it up. Cat cow. Here we go. Up and cow. Back and core. Meow and move. One more. Spread the legs back wide. Forza twist. Over. Yes, very cool. Lateral lunge. Right center, left center. Right, left. How about some big arm circles? Right, left. Exaggerate them. Exaggerate them. Big figure eight, stretch through the shoulder. Same arm, shrug, circle backwards. Circle, circle. All right, torso twist one more time. Right, center, left. Lateral lunge, right and left. Right, left. How about those big arm circles one more time? Exaggerate it. Can you scratch the back of the person in front of you? Scratch them. Give me two backward shoulder shrugs. Same arm, right here, shoulder shrug. And shoulder shrug. Let's celebrate our success. Clap it out, you guys. You guys have been awesome today. Thank you so much. Come and sit down in your chair. Let's just have a little quiet time. Let's get that upper back. Bring your palms up. Open up the chest. Bring your right foot forward. We're gonna start with a hamstring stretch. Tip at the hip. Don't arch the upper back. I want you to keep your back nice and in line. Drop the hips back and tilt forward. Chest over knee. Hamstring. Deep breath in through the nose. And out through the mouth. Pop the toe for cat. You do not have to grab your toe. Just let the flex do its so work. Continue to breathe slow on your own. Now we're gonna do a hip opener. Sit up. Bring your feet perpendicular. Take your right arm, push the knee backwards to activate the shoulder. If your shoulder is tired, just do a lateral lunge. That's okay. You get a little extra shoulder work. Push back until you feel the groin stretch. Now let's go into a hip flexor. Bring your right leg back. Use your chair for balance if you need. Drop that knee down, hand to hip. Try to pull the butt towards the belly button and flatten the lower back to stretch deeper through the flexor and quad. Again, deep breaths. Take your hand, bring it across your shoulder stretch. Rotate your 
rotate your wrist and your left ankle. And get yourself a couple shoulder rolls and shake it out. And let's all clap it out. Thank you guys so much. My name is Nikki. Uh, you guys have been awesome. Keep working on those moves. Let me know if you have comments or questions, if you need help with any of the steps. I am happy to help. I'm always here a few minutes after class. You guys have an awesome day, and we'll see you next time. Last one. So, all right. Anyway, that's it. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have questions or comments, um, I don't feel like I messed anything up on that one. So it was a pretty good run. Yay. Uh, but uh, you guys are great. And uh, let me know again. I'll be around by, like if you need to email me about anything. But again, be patient with me. Um, I'll probably write some more stuff uh, September, I'm going to guess. But I always teach it before I actually record it. That way I get good at it and comfortable with it to give you the best video. So if I start writing something in September, it might not be till like late October uh, before I get it recorded. So just be patient with me and then I'll be back to writing some stuff every couple months. Um, maybe we'll have a baby in the video too. Be like a little baby. Anyway, uh, have a good day and uh, I'll see you again soon. All right, thank you, bye.